What is up guys, Stalboy here. Just a quick prediction video for Chris Eubank Jr. versus Avni Yildirim. This fight takes place at super middleweight and it is for Chris Eubank Jr.'s IBO super middleweight title. And obviously this fight is part of the World Boxing Super Series. This fight takes place on the 7th of October and it actually goes down in Germany. Let's have a quick look at both guys' records. Chris Eubanks Jr. comes into this fight with a record of 25 wins, 1 defeat, 0 draws, 19 of those 25 wins coming by way of stoppage. And Avni Yildirim comes into this fight with a perfect record of 16 wins, 0 defeats, 0 draws, and 10 of those 16 wins coming by way of stoppage. If we look at both guys in terms of physical attributes, both guys are 5 foot 11. Uh, Chris Eubank Jr. has a 72 and a half inch reach, and Avni Yildirim has a 70 inch reach. So Eubank Jr. does have a two and a half inch reach advantage, and that could be a factor in this fight. If we look at both guys in terms of competition for and levels of experience, in the pro ranks, you'd have to say Eubank Jr. has fought better competition. He's already fought guys like Billy Joe Saunders, Arthur Abraham, guys of that nature, Dmitry Chudinov, and for my money, they are better guys than what uh, Avni Yildirim has been facing. If we look at Yildirim's resume, to me his best win is arguably Marco Antonio Paraban. He won that fight by unanimous decision. He also has a points win over an ancient Glenn Johnson. Uh, that was like his seventh fight, I believe, or, or his sixth fight. And they have the two sort of standout names on the resume, you know. I mean, um, Yildirim's not fought great competition for the most part. But I've seen a few of his highlights online and he does some things well. He brings pressure, seems to carry a little bit of power. And he definitely looks like a game type of opponent. He reminds me, I've seen a lot of people make the comparison between him and Arthur Abraham. I can see that, but to me, Yildirim's high guard is nowhere near as good as Arthur Abraham's. But he is more aggressive than Abraham. To me, Yildirim looks a bit more gung-ho. He'll apply more pressure. He'll try and let his hands go more than, uh, than Arthur Abraham. So there, there are some differentials there. He's not a carbon copy of Abraham like some people have been saying. But there are, there are similarities there. Um, from what I see of Yildirim, as I said, he's a front foot fighter. Does get hit a bit, but his best punches for me are his the left hook to the body and the hooks in general, and he's got a nice snappy right hand as well, which uh, which is quite effective and quite powerful. So the left hook to the body, left hook to the head, and the right hand are his, are his best shots as far as I'm concerned. But to me, from what I see of him, although he applies good pressure, he's a little bit one-paced. He doesn't really move his head enough for me when he comes forward, when he when he uh, sort of applies pressure, he, he'll come forward with his guard, but that guard isn't the tightest. It's not like Abraham's, where Abraham's guard was almost impenetrable at times. Yildirim's guard is not that good, so I'd expect Eubank Jr. to blast through that. And we saw we, we saw against um, Arthur Abraham when Eubank Jr. fought him. Abraham has a very good guard, and Eubank Jr. was still getting past it. So defensively, I, I do worry for Yildirim in this fight. I think he is going to be a sitting duck. For the counter punches of Eubank Jr., he is open for that uppercut. If you if you if you see how he attacks, he's kind of he's kind of squat and compact. He'll come forward uh, with his gloves up, and he is open for that uppercut when Eubank Jr. tees off. That's going to be there for him, you know. I'd expect Eubank Jr. to win this fight relatively comfortably. I have to say, uh, Yildirim is just going to give him too many openings. He's going to be uh, too easy to hit. And uh, nothing I've seen from Yildirim gives me any hope that he wins this fight. Unless he's got some crazy power that we don't know about and he can catch Eubank, I just don't see him winning this fight, you know. I think the hand speed of Eubank Jr. and the inside game is going to be a big factor here. I think on the inside, Eubank Jr. definitely has the better skills here. Yildirim does, has, can fight on the inside a little bit, but he's nowhere near as accomplished as Eubank Jr., and so when it's up close, I'd expect Eubank Jr. to get the best of it, it with his hand speed and uh, punch variation. And when 
when Eubanks on the outside and and the Ildrim's coming forward, I'd expect Eubanks to circle him, pop that jab, uh, look for those counter right hands and try and pick his spots. I think this fight is going to be similar to the Abraham fight based on that. I think the slow feet of Yildirim, the plodding style and the lack of head movement is going to be his downfall. It really is. I think if you picked a fighter who is like um, tailor-made for Eubank Jr., it's going to be somebody like Yildirim. Somebody who comes forward, doesn't really move his head, doesn't really have any subtle defensive skills or attacking skills. Just a, a basic come forward guy. They're the type of guys that Eubank Jr. is going to style on. And that's what I expect in this fight. As I said, Eubank has to watch out for his left hook uh, to the head and body. Because Yildirim does throw that quite well. He is quite a good body puncher. And that's something he needs to do in this fight. To stop Eubank moving so much. He needs to work that body. But I just can't see him getting close. Another punch Eubank has to be wary of is, that, is the right hand. Because it is a little bit sneaky. It's not really that telegraphed. I've seen him throw like awkward looking right hands that are hard to sort of predict. And um, that could be there for Yildirim. But um, unless Eubank Jr. really switches off and gets caught with a big shot or he's, he's just under the weather and uh, or picks up an injury, I can't see him losing this fight. I think Yildirim's going to be game. He's going to be tough. He's going to let his hands go. But he just doesn't have enough here. He just doesn't have enough. Ultimately, when you put both guys together, does Yildirim do anything better than Chris Eubank Jr.? I'm not sure he does, to be quite honest. So my prediction is a Chris Eubank Jr. lopsided points win or a late stoppage. I'm not saying Yildirim is a bad fighter, by the way. I'm just saying that, stylistically, Eubank Jr. is all wrong for him. I actually think if Yildirim fought somebody like George Groves or even Callum Smith, he'd have a better chance in terms of styles. Because Yildirim is the type of guy who likes to apply pressure, and I think it's it's a common it's common knowledge now that Groves does struggle with pressure. So if George Groves couldn't stop Yildirim, I think as a fight we were on, it could be tough. And I'm not so sold on how Callum Smith takes pressure either. I actually think Yildirim would have had a better chance against those guys. Although I'd, I would have still picked him to lose those fights, but um, stylistically, this is a bad one for him. I'm picking Eubank Jr. Uh, by points or a late stoppage. What do you guys think? Peace.